all of the programs we undertake, all of the systems that we put in place are all geared towards making cows happy and healthy and comfortable. These girls on an as-fed basis will eat sometimes as much as 100 to 150 pounds of feed each day. Our feeding is quite complicated with the cows. I work closely with a herd nutritionist as well to evaluate the feeding of the cows. The nutritionist will come in and design the ration, make sure that the cows are eating the, the best feed possible. I, I would say this, that if the general population held to the strict standards of, of dairy nutrition, we'd have a very, very healthy society. Their rations are balanced very, very strictly. It's not anything but very, very specific science. We feed them things such as alfalfa hay, grass hay, preserved forages that's called silage. The cows are usually fed two to three times a day. Each dairy is a little bit different, but we try and make sure that the cow has good, fresh feed in front of them at all times. One of the big changes, if you look at the facilities, we've really increased the square footage of shade. When I came into practice, hardly any dairies originally had fans and misters. I don't know of a dairy these days that's not cool. Arizona is a very hot place to raise cows if you spend any time outside, but they do manage it fairly well. The cows always have access to clean, fresh water. It's amazing, cows will drink upwards of 50 gallons of water a day, so making sure that they have good, clean, fresh water available actually does quite a bit to help keep the cows cool. The fans and the misters are also a plus to keep them cool underneath the shades. The next step, and this is an example of it on this dairy here, where they actually covered where the animals eat and sleep, so they're never very far from feed. This is what's called a freestall dairy, where each cow has their own individual bed with a fan and mister that covers just a few stalls. So they, they basically have their own personal fan and mister blowing on them. We want our cows to produce, but we need to make sure that they're happy, healthy, comfortable cows. We want to make sure that not only do they get enough resting time, but that it's quality resting time. If we don't get that, then we're not achieving the cow comfort and then the production that we want out of these cows. I think it's a, a very accurate statement to say that when you look at especially Southwest dairies, that these are some of the best dairies in the world. You know, they're, they're, they're without question some of the best dairies in the United States. That makes them the best dairies in the world. As far as how cows are cared for, how the businesses are operated, drive around, take a look, there's no, there's no doubt.